Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're going to be looking at a Mauser. Uh, this is a gun made in about 1899 to 1900, but it's a Mauser broom handle uh, large ring hammer with the characteristic flat sides. And these were called uh, flat side or slab side by collectors. Um, these were made right after a 5,000 gun contract. Uh, for the Royal Italian Navy in 1899. Uh, that would have been between serials 15 and 20,000, but Mauser decided to make those 5,000 guns for the Italian Navy in their own serial number range of one to 5,000. And then when uh, commercial production resumed, they stayed with this slab side until about 28, 29,000. So they made almost 10,000 guns for the commercial market with this feature, which was just kind of interesting, a sort of an unusual variant. And there are a few different variations of this. There's uh, early ones, which uh, basically like this one had some sort of unusual features. And then they went to uh, later features on later guns that are totally different. But this is one of the early ones. And this is pretty typical of what you will see on a uh, Mauser uh, flat side. Uh, you've got your standard length barrel here with your standard front sight. This one's in the 23,000 serial number range with your crown U stamps and your standard chamber marking with your long extractor and a very standard thousand meter rear sight on these a uh, lot of guns that were earlier than this like the cone hammers and some of the large ring hammers actually had 500 meter rear sights but these almost all have thousand meter rear sights on them um, and then you've got your later type bolt the firing pin has been changed to not require a plate going over it to hold it in. It's now held in with a different uh, lug system in there. So they've gotten away from the old cone hammer uh, and early large ring hammer type. Um, you've also got your still you've got your standard uh, cone hammer type safety, which is just kind of a pain to, to use. This one is in safe. You can tell because the hammer is locked back a little bit from the firing pin there but uh, it's really difficult to tell if it's on safe or not just by a quick glance they still were using the widely or fairly widely serrated wood grips and you've got your uh, this is definitely not a cone hammer type trigger these are not left in the white they're going to be strawed and also inside there is going to be no longer in the white the whole frame is blued and just looking at the rest of the gun uh, you've got that really nice wood to metal finish um, you've got your uh, magazine floor plate which is going to be pretty standard on all these uh, tons of strange markings under the barrel which really mean nothing other than factory codes and things like that just uh, sort of internal manufacturing codes and uh, this one's got a little bit of muzzle wear there just from probably corrosive ammunition and being shot. Um, other than that, a very standard gun. But just to give you an idea of what your sort of guns about 1899 were looking like when Mauser resumed commercial production after their first big military contract for the Italian Navy. Um, and these are a pretty interesting variant. You don't see a lot of these today. Uh, a lot seem to have been used up and just pretty abused, essentially. Uh, this one is a fairly high condition one with a lot of nice bluing left and you can just see how well Mauser um, really polished these there's no machine markings almost at all underneath that blue and it's a really nice um, commercial grade blue just a, a really nice overall gun and just a very unique feature that you don't see on on a lot of brim handles with these uh, slab sided guns uh, since most all broom handles have panel milling on them. As always, 
Thanks for watching. If you've got one of these, I'd love to hear about it. So drop a comment. If you enjoy what you're watching, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.